Hey everyone, welcome to this SQL interview series of Data Millennials. In this video, we are going to discuss about the another SQL interview question, which is that how can we retrieve alternate org record from a table in SQL? In our previous video, we discussed about how we can retrieve alternate event record from a table, and in this video, we will be retrieving the alternate odd rows from the table. So we have a table here which contains employee ID and salary and the output should be the alternate odd record. So employee 1 is on row number 1, employee 2 is on row number 2. So we have to exclude this row number 2 in our output but we have to get the row number 3 which is employee 3 here in our output because it is on odd row number. So let's go on SQL Workbench and write the query to get the alternate odd record from the table. Okay, so simply, first of all, we have to see the table from which we need to extract the data or on which we are going to write the query. So we'll write select star from SQL interview, which is my database dot employee salary. Let's run this query. And as per the example here, we have the same table over here also that has employee ID and salary. As you can see here, employee 1 is on row number 1, employee 2 is on row number 2, employee 3 is on row number 3. So we have to get this alternate odd record. So ideally our output should contain employee 1, employee 3, employee 5, employee 7 empl and employee number 9. Rest all of these 2, 4, 6, employee 8 and employee 10 is on even rows. So we have to exclude those rows from our output. To get the alternate odd record, what we can do is that we can use the row number function and then we can use the mod function and get the alternate odd record. So we'll simply write row number over. After this over, we'll put order by employee ID order by employee ID and then we'll put the name as let's put it as row sequence okay so we have to give brackets over here and now if I run this query before I should run this query just see this that you have employee 1 on row number 1 employee 2 is on row number 2 so after running this query, this should be the pattern. Employee 1 should be on row number 1, employee 2 should be on row number 2, 3 should be on row number 3. So if I run this query now, you can see that you have employee 1 on row sequence 1, employee 2 is on row sequence 2, employee 3 is on row sequence 3. And now the only thing that we have to do is that we have to exclude these even rows from our output and include these odd rows from in our output. To do that, we'll consider this query as our subquery or the inner query and we'll write an outer query saying that select star from this inner query, okay? And we'll put the name as v and then we'll put a condition where v dot row sequence Okay, this row sequence is odd and to get this row sequence as odd, we have to use this mod function and divide this row sequence by 2 which is equal to 1 or in other words, you can say that is not equal to 0. But here we will use mod of this row sequence equal to 1. So this mod function will give you the remainder and if the remainder is equal to 1, then those records will be present in your output. So let's run this query. And in our output, we can see that we have all of these alternate odd records from the table. So this is how you can use row number function as well as the mod function together to retrieve the alternate odd record from a table. If you want to learn more about SQL interview questions, then you can click on the right hand side of this video 
or if you want to learn SQL from basics, then you can click on the left hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.